Hi. Uh, what are your thoughts on the afternoon? Well, uh, a very emotional afternoon for sure. Uh, I think we started the game really well, created three or four big chances that we didn't convert. After that, we had a period of uh, some issues, especially with the ball. After regaining the ball, that we lost it in in some difficult areas, and, and we lacked some continuity and dominance in that period. We scored a really good goal in, in a moment that we take the advantage of the opponent. And then we go to halftime, we come back, we are really strong. Um, and then obviously the referee makes a decision that uh, changes the course of the game. And it's still like this, with 10 men, the team reacts unbelievably well, the stadium reacts unbelievably well, and probably we should have won the game. The red card is obviously what everyone's talking about. What yeah. do you think of it? I was amazed. Amazed, 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 because how inconsistent decisions can be. In the first half, there are two incidents, nothing happens. And then in a no critical area, the ball hits Declan Hill. He turns around, he doesn't see the play come, he touches the ball. By law, he can make that call. But by law then, he needs to make the next call, which is red card. So we play 10 against 10. So this is what amazed me. It's at this level, it's honestly amazing. Yeah, obviously we had a reaction that it was back to goal. There is no, it's not in the middle of the part that they're trying to counter or anything. Anyway, I repeat myself, by law, you want to do it. You didn't do it in the first half, do it. But then you have to play 10 against them. That's it. It's very simple. Well, okay, well, you said you need to be near perfect to beat Manchester City. Then two chances at the end, Saka and Havertz, so mm -hmm. they... Is it frustrating that one of those didn't go in? Because it, it would have felt like a huge victory. Yeah, for sure. Because the the spirit, um, how well we control the emotional part of the game. Because it was really hard one to take. Really, really hard one to take. But the team reacted that way. We showed a lot of discipline. We adapted to what we had to do. Playing at home with 10 men and we don't want to be sitting deep. Uh, for so long like this. But we read the game and we played the game that we had to play. And we should have got rewarded. Well, this is what happened. So we have to add to that context that we have other players that can, can fulfill that and give the opportunity to somebody else. This last one, obviously, Raheem joined last night. He hasn't really had much football because of the situation at Chelsea. Yeah. You hoping in these two weeks you can get him in shape to hopefully be involved with that? Stuff? Yeah, we have to see. We have to see him, uh, speak to him, what he's been doing, how he's feeling about it, and oh, okay, try to, to find quick wins uh, to get him up to speed as quick as possible. Um, and uh, and him understanding what we are looking for him and, and the dynamics of the team and we'll use that time to do that and, and as soon as possible get him involved. Alex Gibson. Hi, Michael. Hi. Have you spoken to the referee? Did he say to you why he didn't give the yellow card in the first half for the Brighton play? Yeah. Before, but did for us? No. No, he did. Okay, we'll probably just do a couple more now. Firstly, Jordan. Hey, Colonel, just all those inconsistencies, how has that improved? Well, obviously, it's a very subjective from a referee, but how do, mm. how do we change, how do we improve those in, in, in I don't know, this is not in our hands, so we don't know. James, would you just ask how you were in Timber, as you looked like he came off with a problem? No, he was, I think, cramping, he got a kick, I think, in that area in the first half, and then he was cramping, so we had to take him off. So it's not an injury? I don't think so. Okay, guys, thanks very much. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.